Hello and welcome back to the Entertainment Vortex and our new episode of Pop Culture News. Your bite-sized chunk of all things Funko Pop from the last week or so. So first up, we're going to talk about things that are available now. These are things we've talked about in previous weeks that you can now get your hands on in stores. Uh, so the big one, of course, he being a big fan, is the Stranger Things. The new wave of Stranger Things is available in stores. We'll have a little more on that later. Let's jump right into the announcement section. This is all the official things announced by Funko in the last week or so. So first up on the list is one we actually talked about last week in our rumor section, which is a villain's box from Disney. Um, now, this is something that's on pre-order now, um, but it's going to be available at the end of August. I'm not entirely sure what's in it yet, but I am excited to see because I know I got the other one, the uh, the hero one, I guess. It's the opposite. With the Little Mermaid movie moment, it was super cool. So I look forward to seeing what's in this one so I can pick it up as well. It definitely looks like it's going to be something from Snow White. Uh, the box has the little heart closure with the dagger through it, so it's more than likely going to be some variety of the Evil Queen, but I guess we'll see. So next up on the list is going to be another Disney Parks exclusive. We've been getting a few of these, you know, about one every month or so. Uh, this one is going to be specifically around Splash Mountain. It's one of the one of the log flume carts, and it has two of the characters, uh, the Briar characters, in it. Uh, this looks really interesting, and I love Disneyland, so hopefully they keep making these things. I really like having them. Uh, next up on the list was a late edition of the Canada Fan Expo. Uh, we had talked about everything they announced from that last week, but we had one additional one that kind of slipped through the cracks, which is Jeffrey the Giraffe from the now-defunct Toys R Us <laughs> with an Iron Man body. I'm not entirely sure what's going on with this one, but hey, okay. Okay. Uh, I mean, if you're a collector of the ad icon stuff, I assume that this would be something up your alley. Uh, maybe they just had a lot of Iron Man bodies and Je Jeffrey the Giraffe heads, and they're like, let's just do something with them. If you're interested in this, though, this one may be worth some money. It tends to be when things go defunct, if they have any memorabilia, those things skyrocket in value short years afterward. All so, those Toys R Us kids trying to capture their childhood. Oh, yeah. So <laughs> keep an eye out for this one. If you can snatch it, it's probably something that might be worth some money. So next up on the list is going to be an October release for the upcoming Aquaman film. Now, these look absolutely incredible. Uh, I really love the Black Manta figures. These look absolutely outstanding. So hopefully the movie is good. Contrary to popular belief, I do believe that DC's had a pretty good track record as far as some of the movies they've released up to this point in their new extended universe. I've enjoyed the majority of them. So hopefully we keep that, that train rolling. Uh, next up on the list, we've talked about some of this before in previous episodes, it's going to be Pops Around Spider-Man the Game. Uh, this is also coming out in October, and as you can see, you've got Spider-Man up in his jumping action pose, uh, which is definitely very cool looking. And so that release date for this is actually going to be for the entire line. We've already talked about the other characters that are in that grouping, but this one is just another addition plus the release date. So next up on the list is going to be a confirmation for some things that we've been seeing pop up in the rumor section lately. Uh, this one is going to be a large group of Nightmare Before Christmas pops for the 25th anniversary of that film. Now, these are gonna be scattered exclusives. You're seeing those on screen. They're gonna be some box lunch, Hot Topic, all kinds of stuff. So uh, keep an eye out for those. The one that looks like it's really interesting though is that they're going to be doing a group of snow globes. So they look like they're in mystery boxes so you won't know what you're getting until you buy it, which does have a little bit of that gotcha to it. You know, it makes you want to go back and buy more boxes. But they're little tiny snow globes with characters from uh, Nightmare in them, which is right up my alley. So uh, hopefully there isn't like a weird, like super rare one that's hard to get, but I know that there will be. So I'm interested to see how these turn out. Normally with those mystery boxes, if you buy a box, you get a set. Hopefully that's the way they're going to do it with this one. Uh, next up on the list should come as no surprise to anybody. There's an entire run of figures around the Predator movie that's coming out. These are going to be available this fall, probably directly related to the release of the movie. Um, if this is one you're excited about, then this is kind of a no-brainer. We'll, we'll see how the movie is. And so some of these showed up in our rumor section last week, uh, but there's actually a pretty wide variety that weren't shown. There were a couple of the weird dog-looking ones that were in there, but there's a whole bunch more. So it makes me interested to see what this actual film's going to turn out like. So once again, another thing that we've been seeing pop up in our rumor section occasionally throughout the year. Prince is now officially been announced and some of them have actually been released. So uh, some of them are available in the wild. I'm not sure exactly which figures they are. Keep an eye out, but they should all be out in the, in the wild for you to go hunt down by the fall. So when it comes to the stuff that I'm personally interested in getting out of the announcements this week, um, top of the list is going to be the Aquaman Pops. I'm huge into the DC Extended Universe and DC Comics as a whole, and uh, I definitely want to grab these. They look amazing. Um, just one more piece along with the trailers to make me excited about this movie. 
Uh, I definitely want to grab these. I want to get the Villains box um, since I got the other box and it was amazing. I'm hoping this is going to be great as well. And the uh, I've got one of the uh, theme park exclusives from Disneyland. I'd love to get the Splash Mountain one to go with it. So I'm also interested in the Splash Mountain one. I have the exact same Disneyland exclusive and so I would love to collect as many of those as possible. I also kind of want to get that Tiki Room one from uh, a month ago, uh, but I don't know how readily available that'll be. The Aquaman ones look really interesting, specifically the Black Manta ones. I'm really interested in trying to hunt some of those down because there are some variants. And I just love that they kept to that comic book style with him. And that's something that I personally really appreciate. But the big one on the list for me, and I'm sure it comes to no surprise, uh, the nightmare stuff. Uh, there are so many cool figures. I mean, we have the doctor with the with the head that's fully removable and you can see the brain. Uh, and you also have these this new interesting snow globe uh, thing. I super appreciate that. I actually collected snow globes as a child. Uh, so those are somewhere in my mom's garage. It kind of adds a little extra nostalgia from one of my favorite Disney movies and also from something that I used to collect as a child. So it'll be really interesting to see how these turn out. So next up on the list is gonna be our rumor section. This of course is items that are not confirmed through Funko, but we got it from some pretty good sources. But these are things that are not confirmed through Funko, but we got from really good sources. First up on the list is going to be the Christmas Pops. We got a handful of those shown. Uh, you've got Marvel, you've got Spongebob, and you've got Star Wars. So there's quite a few there coming out Christmas season. I would not be at all surprised if these are accurate. Um, Deadpool one looks pretty cool too. Yeah, these definitely uh, look legit, uh, but I mean, they are things that are pulled from you know different corners of the internet. So I mean, we'll see if all of these are 100% accurate, but they look like they're, they're probably going to be something that are confirmed for sure. So next up on the list is going to be uh, a pair of Batman pop and t-shirt combos that look like they're going to be Target exclusives. The DCPIs were actually found in Target's website. The image that you're seeing on screen is just essentially a mock-up. So it's not what you would actually end up getting, but we will see if these uh, become a thing. If they do, I love the pop t-shirts. They have a really a unique style to them. And I obviously love nerdy t-shirts, as you can see by what I wear pretty much every week. <laughs> but uh, these look super interesting and I'd be really excited to see if there are something cool from maybe some different corners of the, like the comic book releases and stuff. Uh, next up on the list, we had a listing for a new cereal through Funko. It is the Golden Girls cereal, which is very <laughs> interesting. So as you know, they've been doing a cereal line and they have little mini pops in them. I'd be interested to see if they're gonna do more than just the pop inside the cereal, but uh, the listing we found was for a new cereal. So next up on the list is going to be a mock-up prototype art for The Simpsons. Now we talked about this a few weeks ago when we saw that pop up on one of the rumor lists without the images. These images look pretty legit. Uh, so it'd be interesting to see if they turn out as good as they look on paper at this moment in time, because the previous things that they've released from Simpsons were a little wonky. And that was something that we both were turned off by. So hopefully these you know, live up to that great franchise. Uh, next up on the list is going to be some more Doctor Who. There's been quite a few releases around Doctor Who, so I'm not surprised to see more coming out. As you can see, there's a few shown there, as well as the TARDIS all decorated up from one of the episodes. Um, if you're a fan, keep your fingers crossed. So next up on the list is one that I'm going to correct the box, because it says that it's Frankenstein, but it's Frankenstein's monster. This one looks like it's supposed to be a Walgreens exclusive, so hit or miss there. Uh, but if it does become a thing, there'll be so something super cool probably. I'd guess it would be something that would come out around Halloween time. So keep an eye out around, you know, September, October uh, at your local Walgreens to see if anything pops up that's not the same WWE pops they've been trying to push on you for the last year and a half. Next up on the list is going to be one that's rumored to be coming to Barnes & Noble as an exclusive, and it's going to be George R.R. R. Martin himself, Mr. Game of Thrones. Uh, this doesn't surprise me. I would I would really expect this to be a real thing because uh, he is huge right now with the success of the show and with the last season coming out, I, I would imagine they're going to line that up. More authors, please. If that's going to be a thing, yeah. more authors. I'd love to get a J.K. Yeah. Rowling pop or a Stephen King. That would be, yeah. those would be excellent. We're getting directors, might as well. Yeah. So next up on the list is going to be a series around Marvel Runaways. Uh, now these haven't been fully confirmed. The pop art looks legit. The show is supposed to be doing very well because this looks like what that's what's specifically based off of. It's not based out of the comic book, which I've heard is a little different, but a lot of people are really enjoying Runaways. It's definitely something that's on my radar as far as things that I need to watch. So next up on the list is gonna be a group of Kingdom Hearts figures. Uh, these are specifically around the Monsters Inc. land that's going to be in the new game. 
Uh, they look really, really cool, so I'm hoping these are going to be a real thing. And it definitely wouldn't surprise me, because they did the Nightmare Before Christmas ones for a previous game, so I can see them keeping going with this. Um, that's it for our rumors this week. Uh, stay tuned to this show in future weeks to find out if any of these are actually confirmed, because we always let you know what's been confirmed ongoing. So now we're going to go into our haul section. This is where we talk about stuff that we personally picked up in the last week. I had quite a bit last week, but I do not have anything this week, but I know you do. Yeah, I've been slowly getting the snowball rolling. My finances have been finally getting into a place where I feel like I can splurge a little bit here and there. Uh, there is something that will be coming within the next week or so. Keep an eye out for that one. I've been excited for it. Uh, but the ones that I have for this week are the Stranger Thing pop that we were talking about previously. There's been a new series that was announced a while ago. It has a new form of Eleven and all this other good stuff. But the one that I saw in the wild that I was super excited about because I don't have his particular figure yet at all is Steve. So it has him with the bandana and the sunglasses on. Uh, this is a really cool looking figure from a really cool part of the show that Nick has not seen yet. He needs to rectify that. Uh, and then the other pop that I picked up this week was for Jasmine. Uh, so it's actually her in the red outfit. And as you've seen in a way, way previous episode, I have the red Jafar genie with the lamp as well. So they're like a matching set. I really enjoy that. They're gonna go right next to each other in the collection. Uh, so this is something that I was super excited about. And I and as soon as I mentioned it to the wife, she was like, buy that, please. So, of course, let us know what you picked up this week as well. We're always curious. Put that down in the comment section below. Don't forget, if you picked anything up this week, leave that down in the comment section below. We love learning what you guys get as well. If you haven't already, don't forget to subscribe to this channel. We give you multiple videos every single week. And we have t-shirts available if you're interested in those as well. Those are available down in the description below. We hope you'll follow us into the Vortex. We'll see you next time.